what's going on guys, Mickey CTX, and that's right, you see it right here, Halo fucking 4, man, holy shit, this is a great game, yes, yeah, right, I went to the midnight premiere last night, and I got it at my local GameStop, and of course, some of them there uh, are subscribers of mine, and actually work there, so big shout out to the guys at GameStop, uh, they always treated me well, and uh, they always uh, hooked me up with a lot of fucking like info and games and shit like that, uh, but anyways, back to the topic, what am I going to talk about today, guys, is something that's traumatizing. And if I had a fucking violin, I would play this shit if I knew how to play a violin. Because it's something that is just something tragic in the history of mankind, of bros, of the bro nation, of, the, of anybody that really dated and got jerked off, man. <laughs> what, am I, what am I talking about, man? Alright, look, so here, here's the story. Back when I was dating uh, more around... I uh, started going out with more girls after, of course, my first breakup, and, uh, you know, you, you know, you go, like, on a rampage. You're, like, doing all these fucking, like, triple feeds and, you know, quad feeds of dating girls and shit like that, and, uh, I ended up dating this one girl. She was this one typical blonde, typical, just, you know, cheerleader girl, but I never really paid attention to so much details back then, and, uh... <laughs> She ended up having these really long nails that I, at first I didn't, I didn't pay no mind. The bitch looked like a fucking, you know, novel from a Wolverine movie or some shit. And, um, it, it was, they were pretty long. I'm not saying they were, like, exaggerating long, but they were long enough to fucking hurt you. And, uh, you don't want to be, you know, getting poked by them in your eyes. And, uh, it looked like, like those things deserve, like, a fucking permit or something. Like a, like a hunting permit. Those things were fucking lethal. Anyways, long story short, we went out. You know, hooked up, uh, you know, a few times. We made out, but I, I didn't really, really pay mind to the nails. It wasn't, like, a big deal. In my eyes, it was like, the bitch is hot. The bitch is, D, you know, DTF. The bitch is ready to fucking just smash. So, what do I do here? <laughs> I'm not going to tell the girl, hey, hey, you know, let, let me just clip those things off. Let me just cut those nails off and uh, make the night a little better. But the last thing that occurred to me was the fact that if she was to stroke me down there you know, jerk me off, uh, it, it, it was gonna hurt, okay, cause, uh, it did, the bitch ended up going down there, uh, first time ever, and, uh, fucking penis just came out traumatized, it just, the, the penis came out fucking scarred for life, I'm not kidding you, that shit fucking hurt, as soon as she fucking started, I, as soon as it became more, you know, evident that she was gonna do, bitch fucking ended up hurting my penis, fucking scratched the shit out of it, and not just the, the skin part, the meat part, man, Holy fucking shit, that shit hurt so fucking much, I, I I had to stop it, I had to tell the girl, yo, you either suck that shit, or we smash, and you stop jerking this shit off, because see, the thing was, the girl didn't want to smash just yet, we were just, you know, on top of the clothes type of thing, at that time, I was really young, I didn't know how to fucking, you know, close the deal like I do today, you know, I thought it was so hard to close the deal at that time, uh, because I was, you know, very young and naive, and I didn't know much about, you know, girls at that time like I do today, but it was so simple to just, I mean, we're both already fucking naked. And I continued to let her just masturbate me. In other words, fucking jerk me off. And uh, because of my stupidity, I ended up getting hurt. See, see, this is what happened. I'm a wounded warrior for you guys. And I, I don't, I'm not even having any kind of like donations or anything here. This is all, <laughs> this is all bro stories, man. But I ended up um, telling her, I actually told her that. It was so weird. I told her, look. If you continue hurting me down there every time we're doing this, we're just gonna not do it anymore. The funny thing is that she said, "Well, do you have any condoms?" I'm like, "Yeah." And you know what the fucking response her of hers was? Was I didn't know you had any. That's why we never smashed. I'm like, "Wow." And I'm spinning around in my in my fucking computer chair right now because that's how I felt that day. All I needed was to say, "Yo, I got some condoms. Let's do this." We're naked. We're in a fucking room. No one's here. Fucking music's on playing some fucking Luther banjos or whatever you want to fucking hear or some Usher, I don't know, whatever she was into and uh, getting down to the to the smashing, but uh, it was that simple, I ended up telling her, hey, let's just smash, I mean, fuck, we're already fucking in almost home, we'd rather just, you know, win the game, god damn it, smash this shit, so uh, that was the last time I actually ever dated another girl with long nails, and actually that's one of my requirements uh, whenever I, I do look for girls, it's just... Hey, you got long nails, we can't, you gotta either not touch it down there with the hands, or we gotta smash, I mean, you gotta, you gotta choose your nails, or the dick, you know, or the D, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make up your mind, it's not that hard to cut a fucking nail, 
Uh, because I know girls don't like him when we have our nails, and it's kind of, kind of contradicting themselves because they don't like him whenever we're like doing them with our nails, and that shit hurts them. But they could fucking freely roam around with some long ass fucking fake ass nails or some real fucking nails. I don't know, Freddy Krueger nails, and uh, it's good in their book. But on our book, we gotta fucking like you know make sure our shits you know trimmed, and we can't bite our nails and things like that because it hurts them, and they're so fucking sensitive down there. Yeah. So hopefully you guys didn't also like. Uh, maybe gotten through some shit like this because this stuff is kind of, I'm pretty sure it's common <laughs> when uh, a girl just strokes it too hard or kind of like just grabs it where it fucking hurts, like where it's like painful. So hopefully you guys don't actually have to suffer from that. So next time you guys look at a girl and you see some fucking nails that are just too long, like I said, like a Wolverine or a fucking Freddy Krueger type of nails, you make sure the bitch just cuts that shit off. Just look, look, I buy the nail clipper. You cut them, I buy them. So simple, right? <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard of an explanation, but uh, yeah, so let's see what happens on that uh, and on that aspect. But anyway, something I wanted to share with you guys is just, uh, I remember this today very clearly because uh, we were talking about it today, me and some friends, and I was like, damn, I remember this one girl, and we just started reminiscing. And uh, so I wanted to share this shit with you guys and see what you guys thought. And uh, I don't know if you guys have, have ever had like a, like kind of like an experience where you guys are traumatized by something that the girl might have had. Maybe her hair was too long and poked in the fucking eye and scratched your cornea. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of fucked up shit that happens in bed. Actually, some of the most tragic events that I've heard that happened to anybody in a household is in bed. So remember that shit. It's a fact. I looked it up before. It's not like a 100% like, you know, Guinness World Record, but it's a fact that I've read on a blog. So yeah, if it's on the internet, it's true, you know, because it's, it's the internet, right? But anyways, if you guys liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit, you know, if you hit that like button. It helps me out so, so much. And of course, if you're a Halo 4 fan, motherfucker, this game's a shit. I would definitely recommend this game for anybody. I'll be playing this game way more often. I'm playing Borderlands uh, as well, and I'm playing a lot of fucking games right now. But this is another game that I have now uh, that I'll be adding to the list here on this channel. But yeah, if you're also new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I post here on the daily for your viewing pleasures. So yeah, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, and until next time, yours truly, Miggy, CTX, and I'm out!